What's inspiring you these days? Because I know that you, you're coming out with the new album and um, it was an emotional process for you. It was an emotional process. And I think, um, you know, one of the things that really was inspiring for me was just seeing how people were responding to it. Um, that was very shocking for me because I was so stressed before sharing the music because I didn't think that people would relate to it it's so different but they they have and they've been tremendously supportive and that like that makes me emotional <laughs> because yeah. I it's that's as real for me as it gets like that's that's just me yeah, the music sure. is is who I am and nothing is held back in that so I think that's just inspired me to take more risks and to keep at it like for the producers as well on the album like when we saw the response of Atlantis we we're like all right well we're gonna make sure that every song in the EP is great mm -hmm. and we'd already put in a lot of effort into it but just like it's very encouraging it's like stay the course follow through with this and yeah. people hopefully will respond what sort of risks do you think you took um, I think sonic risks, definitely. Like, it was something new that I tried when I got in with um, my producer, Spencer Bastian, and then Misha Chalak uh, came on later um, to just not try to go for this sort of song that I had been doing um, and that I was, like, kind of comfortable with. But I think there was something nagging at me mm -hmm. sonically that I wanted to really try. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was a risk to just, like, make different sounds and see what came of it and, and to be with people that were really excited to explore just uncharted territory. Food, <laughs> that's, uh, that's number one priority. Um, actually, to be honest, like probably above food, I would put coffee. Oh. Like my number one thing is finding the good cup of joe. And I was just in Nashville where the coffee was astoundingly hmm. good. They are very inventive with it, like chemists of coffee oh, out yeah. there. People take it seriously. Yeah, they. I tried coffee soda. I tried almond milk out there that was so good, I thought that I had been tricked. I thought <laughs> that they like forgot to put in almond milk. So how does Bridget Mendler take your coffee? I've been doing it black lately. Hardcore. Yeah, I, I do an Americano though, because I, I don't want to get jittery and overwhelmed because I like to drink a lot of coffee, but the caffeine <laughs> level is just you're intense for, for me, so. What are you excited about? This is so cool. What we, you're, you're introducing someone tomorrow on stage? Yeah, I'm introducing some peeps, inspiring some kids. Nice. And really, I mean, they don't, they already are inspired. I just want to like cheer them on, pat them on the back, say, you're doing great stuff. Like, I, it, it blows my mind how many people they get to those venues yeah. that have all done something good.